Hi everyone. Welcome to Cisco CCD course. My name is Orhan Ergin. Little bit about my background. I am a CCIE and CCDE. I have been teaching Cisco CCD course for more than a year now. And many of my students already passed the Cisco CCD exam successfully. So, today I am going to introduce Cisco CCD course which you can be a member from OrhanErgin.net. When you become a member, you will be able to access all the design videos, books, quizzes, comparison charts, everything. Let's jump in. So, we have 16 modules. And uh, module 1 is starting with Introduction to Cisco CCD exam. So, in module 2, I will cover layer 2 design. In layer 2 design, we will talk about spanning tree design, layer 2 and layer 3 access design, first of redundancy protocol design such as HSRP, VRRP and GLBP, provider bridging, provider backbone bridging, short spread bridging, service provider and enterprise access design will be covered as well. Once we finish all the videos, we will go and take the design quizzes and we will continue with the IGP design. Module 3 is IGP design. In IGP, OSPF, ISS and EIGRP will be explained. First, OSPF design. In OSPF design, you will see that first OSPF theory will be explained, then OSPF design best practices, phase conversions, OSPF scalability, multi-area OSPF design, phase reroute with OSPF, OSPF interaction with VGP, OSPF interaction with NPLS, and OSPF interaction specifically with overlay technologies such as GRE, MGRE, DM, EPN, LISP. These are the topics in OSPF design. Last but not least, OSPF in the specific places in the network such as data centers, internet edge, and service provider and also enterprise networks. Uh, OSPF how fit in this specific places will be expected. I will continue with the ISS design. ISS theory, design best practices will be explained. Then, phase convergence, scalability, multi-level ISS design. And uh, again, interaction with BGP, MPLS and overlay technologies from design point of view will be explained. In EIGRP, uh, we will first take a look at EIGRP theory. This theory information is important from Cisco CCD written exam point of view. Okay, so that's why Cisco CCD course is designed for not only Cisco CCD practical exam, but also for the Cisco CCD written exam. Okay, so in EIGRP theory will be the first chapter, then uh, EIGRP design best practices, EIGRP phase convergence, scalability, phase reroute, and interaction with the other overlay technologies such as BGP, MPLS, and the uh, tunneling technologies such as GRE, MGRE, DMVPN especially, right, and LISP. I will continue with the Module 4. Module 4 is BGP design. In BGP, BGP is one of the most important technology in CCD exam, also in real life as a network designer, right? So, BGP theory will be the first topic, then IBGP, EBGP, uh, design principles, hot and cold potato routing and what's mesh potato as well. So, IBGP route reflector design, confederation design, and EBGP route server design, uh, BGP and IGP interaction, BGP and MPLS interaction, BGP policy routing, uh, BGP phase reroute with BGP prefix independent convergence will be explained. Also, scalability uh, of BGP with BGP route reflector and BGP confederation, and we will compare them as well. Okay? After VGP, we will start MPLS design, probably the most important topic in uh, Cisco CCD exam, both in Cisco CCD written and practical exam. Okay? So, what is MPLS, LSPs, pseudo-wires, encapsulation, uh, LSP hierarchy, unidirectional, bidirectional LSPs, point-to-point and point-to-multipoint LSPs, and we will start MPLS applications, like uh, layer 2 MPLS VPNs, layer 3 MPLS VPNs, uh, VPWS, VPLS, VPMS, uh, layer 3 MPLS VPN design, layer 3 VPN theory, uh, OSPF, ISNS, and EIGRP as a PEC routing protocol in 
MPLS L3 VPN will be explained. We will compare layer 2 versus layer 3 MPLS VPN, although we will compare uh, like apple to orange, but still uh, in exam point of view, the comparisons uh, of different technologies is very common, very important. That's why uh, you will see in this course at least like 20 comparison charts, such as uh, IPv6 tunneling mechanism, or OSPF versus EIGRP, or layer 2 uh, MPLS VPN versus layer 3 MPLS VPN, or uh, VPWS, which is EOMPLS versus VPLS. This comparison chart is very important, so once you finish your old videos in membership area, once you become a member, you will definitely continue with comparison charts, quizzes, and all the resources also in the ebooks, Cisco CCD workbook, and also the scenario book you need to go through. Okay? We will cover all these MPLS VPN technologies from intra AS point of view first, then I will continue with the inter AS MPLS VPNs, such as option A, option B, and option C. I will compare all of them from design point of view. Pros and cons will be explained as well. Okay? Uh, then I will also explain what is career supporting career and MPLS transport profile, bringing the MPLS in the transport network, and also I will explain in detail seamless MPLS architecture. Seamless MPLS, uh, which we can also name with unified MPLS, is bringing MPLS to the access network. Normally, service providers uh, use MPLS in the core network, then some of them can use also in the aggregation network, but what if we bring the MPLS up to the access network? What are the pros and cons? We will see. Okay? And uh, last but not least, again, MPLS traffic engineering. Okay, there are a uh, couple applications of MPLS traffic engineering, such as MPLS face reroute, uh, also for, for the bandwidth protection and uh, link protection. All, all these applications of MPLS traffic engineering will be explained in detail. I will continue with the quality of service design, quality of service on the internet, quality of service in campus, in service provider networks, and also end-to-end -end quality of service will be explained in this course. Uh, the other topics will be multicast design. Okay, so in multicast design, uh, we will start with the IGMP, and we'll, I will continue with the PIM. All the PIM sparse mode uh, flavors will be explained, such as PIM any source multicast, PIM source specific multicast, PIM binder as well. So I will first start with the theory information, then we will compare all these technologies from design point of view, which is one of the comparison charts in, in the course which you can access. Okay. Uh, another topic will be IPv6 design. I will cover IPv6 theory, then IPv6 best practices. I will present you some IPv6 case studies as well. Okay. The, another topic, VPN design, GRE, IPsec, VNVPN, GetVPN, OTV, LISP. All this uh, overlay tunneling uh, mechanism or uh, VPN mechanisms will be explained from design point of view. We will compare them as well. Where, when you can use GetVPN versus VNVPN, for example, which is very important in, design, uh, in the Cisco CCD exam, also in real life as well. For example, you cannot use GetVPN over the internet. What are the limitations there? So on and so forth. Last but not least, I will cover two scenarios. One enterprise, one service provider, full length, two hours, Cisco CCD sample design scenarios. With these scenarios, you will understand how to approach in the real exam, the, the questions and uh, how can question be structured, so on and so forth. So, this is very comprehensive course. And once you finish this course with all these videos, again, as I said, books and uh, comparison charts, quizzes, you will be fully prepared to the Cisco CCD exam.